The telco insider whose mobile phone tower protest went out of control is back. Now, he drove a tank down city streets, destroying transmitters to highlight what he saw as dangerous tower emissions. Now, of course, he was sent to jail for that. But the former technician hasn't changed his mind about the health effects of mobile phone towers. And he's preparing another protest. But as Laura Sparks reports, this one won't involve a tank. The message was that how dangerous it was. I wasn't thinking clearly. I made some rash decisions, which I really regret. But it was out of sheer frustration, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. His desperation drove him to extreme measures. John Patterson did the unthinkable. Ah, he went on a destructive spree in a tank, and now he's paid dearly for his actions. I was proved guilty, and uh, um, I was jailed for my offences. How dangerous is this office? Uh, it's catastrophic. It's, you wouldn't work here. We first met John, a former senior telecommunications technical officer with Telstra, more than two years ago. Back then, he was waiting to be sentenced, facing a jail term for his tank attack. I was involved in rolling the technology out. I was very responsible for any safety things that actually happened. So I felt obligated to actually do something about it. John borrowed his mate's armoured personnel carrier, one of only two in the country, and rammed eight equipment shelters, housing transmitters for mobile phone towers. It disrupts the bioelectric system of your body, which is really your brain, your nervous system, how your muscles talk. For 20 years, John tested Telstra digital systems. Over the time, he realised the dangers of electromagnetic radiation. When he moved to this Telstra depot in between two mobile phone towers, he got violently sick. It microwaves. So I got all the test gear out and measured it and drew up a report and showed that it was, a, it was an occupational hazard to work in that building with that amount of radiation. And uh, I was immediately removed from service. The people on the inside of the telecom industry are trying to tell you how dangerous these death towers are. We see experiment after experiment, study after study, proving the harmful effects of this radiation. Check out this experiment. Wi-Fi off. The plants just grow normally. And after 72 hours, we see a robust acceleration. Here with the Wi-Fi on, there's nothing. There's no life. It's, a, it's part of the eugenics program, ladies and gentlemen. And we're getting readings from inside the 5G core network. And it's worse than living in a microwave. Here, this microwave was on at 15 milliwatts per meter squared. And in Lake Tahoe, they just set up the 5G core network. This guy brings in his tri-field meter. And just watch it go off the scales. I mean, it's worse than the microwave oven, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they're going to be subjecting everybody to so that you can download a movie in one second. It's not worth it, ladies and gentlemen. And the studies are clear. And here's another big insider, a former president for Microsoft, telling you about the NTP report. The National Institute of Health's National Toxicology Program released the findings of a 14-year, $25 million study that showed clear evidence of harm in terms of cancer and permanent DNA damage. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And this was from the former president of Microsoft, Frank Clegg. Everybody's trying to tell you how dangerous these death towers are. And we're starting to see and hear more and more reports of these death towers being taken down. Check out Elvira here, this Angelina Jolie clone, if you will, you know, basically describe to you the mayhem that's breaking out across America. These towers are going down, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, the cabling just goes up all by itself. It just needs a little spark, and those things are just going up in flames. Ladies and gentlemen, and you know, it's probably better that these death towers get taken down than to let them spring up like poison mushrooms blasting your ass with these, uh, you know, photon rays that might as well be the Starship Enterprise. And you got these phaser beams just, you know, hitting you everywhere you go. 
And they're able to track you in ways you can't even imagine these days. You think like all of this information, all these apps, all these websites, you know, are just, you know, doing advertising. Oh, you're so wrong. They're harvesting all of that data and they're selling it to big government, all of them, every single website. I mean, they're basically, you know, looking for people that are trying to stay off the grid. That's basically how they entertain themselves these days. And you can bet that if you're classified as a conservative or a Republican or a Christian out there, you're going to get the special treatment. You're going to get these beams focused on your ass. And, you know, it's right there in the patents. You know, you check out the MIMO technology, massive input, massive output, phase or beam forming and the like. I mean, they're just going to blast you like you can't even imagine. They're putting these things up everywhere. They're going to be like, you know, every other house. It's going to be at every shopping center, every gas station, every shopping mall. I mean, everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. And so people are taking these things down, and it's it's incredible to see, uh, you know, across the nation. I mean, we're seeing these acts of heroism, uh, you know, civil disobedience, if you will. And, you know, it turns out that a lot of these things are pretty flimsy. And the, the wiring, the insulation on the wiring just acts like an accelerant. You basically just got to get it going according to experts out there that are taking these things down. Now, why are they taking these death towers down? It's because they're way above the uh, safety limits. There's all sorts of reports, conclusive reports, one after the other, that are saying that these things cause cancer. They suppress your immune system. They affect your nervous system and, you know, your body isn't supposed to be subjected to this artificial radiation uh, as it's being pumped out there by this beast system. And, you know, it just looks like, you know, all this stuff just looks like some kind of, you know, trap by some sort of off-world intelligence trying to, you know, wipe us off the planet uh, passively if you will. No need for an invasion. You just, you know, sell the humans a little technology and they'll deploy it everywhere. <laughs> Easy as can be out there. But we're getting, you know, videos uh, pretty much every day of these death towers getting taken down. And of course, it, it goes underreported in the news because they just don't want to, you know, they don't want people to know you know, how bad the situation is on both ends of the spectrum. You know, they don't want to know how bad you're getting dosed. They don't want you to know how bad you're getting dosed. And they don't want you to know how many of these death towers are getting uh, taken down. And, you know, should they be taken down? I mean, you know, people on the inside are saying, yes, you know, you got 250,000 telecom workers that are being injured every year on the job because of these death towers beamed, you know, radiation burns, uh, you know, falling off these structures. I mean, they've had enough. The insurance companies won't even underwrite the damage caused by these death towers, not just working on them, but living near them uh, as well. They don't want to cover it. And, you know, all the standards are literally from 1966, ladies and gentlemen. And they're, you know, they were set up by people part of, you know, the military industrial complex. And, you know, as much as you want to support you know, the defense establishment out there. I mean, this, you know, is uh, unnecessary, to say the least. It's unnecessary, and it's like dropping bombs on civilians, but, you know, right here in America. And, you know, these death towers are going to have huge consequences, just like the fluoride, just like the vaccines, just like the GMOs, the pesticides, you name it, all of Hello, this. my name is Frank Clegg, and I spent over 40 years in the technology sector. Yes, and, you know, according to many technology experts, they're telling you, you know, this stuff should be banned, this stuff shouldn't be deployed. There's a massive uprising of doctors, physicians, academics, you know, pushing back against the rollout of this 5G, which is completely untested and unnecessary. It just doesn't make any sense that this uh, technology would be deployed uh, so close to home when they have a range of, you know, 20, 30, 50 miles and the like. It truly is astonishing to see what you're getting dosed with. We recommend getting a meter out there, whether it be, 
you know, a tri-field meter or a gigahertz solution uh, or the EMF 390. Get yourself a meter, shop around, see what works best for you. We feel that the EMF 390 has, you know, many more features and is actually less expensive and as accurate as uh, the leading competitors. So that's why we promote that one. It's a win-win across the board. Check it out on our website, stfnreport.com. In any case, if you're just joining us, telecom workers are destroying cell towers and leaving a dire warning for the public. They know how bad these things are, but the information is getting suppressed and we're seeing more acts of civil disobedience taking these towers down. They say that these things just go up like uh, pretty much all by themselves. Uh, you know, the insulation acts as an accelerant and uh, some of these are just tethered uh, as you can see on the left, so you know the uh, the experts are warning everyone about these death towers, and it seems uh, you know rather astonishing uh, that uh, you know they're able to roll these out without anybody really just you know doing anything about it. Imagine you know some kind of intruder walking into your home, you know digitally raping you with some kind of beam weapon. Uh, you know they probably wouldn't last very long. You know, especially if you're a, a conservative or a Republican out there. Maybe if you're, you know, a Sodom and Gomorrahite, you know, you're so used to grabbing your ankles, waiting for the astroglide that, you know, it just seems perfectly natural to, you know, get raped by strangers in the dark. But uh, for most people out there, it just doesn't seem like an acceptable proposition. And if we're supposed to be in the land of the free, why can't we opt out of these death towers? Why can't we opt out of this eugenics program? Why is all this stuff just like transitioned, you know, silently in the night? And then they come on television and tell you, you know, once you wake up to what's going on, like, oh, don't worry, it's perfectly safe, perfectly normal. It's kind of like the Patriot Act that they pass in the middle of the night. And you find out that, oh, shit, you know, you're the you're now the terrorist. And uh, that's basically, you know, how we're seeing the narrative, you know, shape itself on television. Of course, they're saying, you know, you're the terrorist because of Trump and you're the terrorist because you're a racist or you're the terrorist because, you know, you're not one of them. But they're definitely, uh, you know, hitting you up, ladies and gentlemen. You're now a terrorist uh, in their eyes. And, uh, you know, their technology is punishment in disguise. You should definitely check out our archives. We've done quite a few different videos on these death towers. Feel free to mirror them, compile them, rebroadcast them, uh, get this information out there. People should really be pushing back against these death towers, ladies and gentlemen, while you have a chance. Uh, once they you know, fully complete their grid and roll out the Terminators, the Skynet, and the like, I mean, you're totally fucked, to say the least, and so... You know, pardon the language there, but I mean, there's just really no other way to put it. And, you know, they're, you know, they want to place these things, you know, at your schools, uh, you know, near your bedroom and the like. And the readings are equivalent to a microwave oven. So if that seems like a wonderful idea to you, then just sit back, relax, do nothing, watch the sports, watch the television and just go along with the plan because that truly is the plan. It's right there on the Georgia Guidestones. They're going to entertain you with all their bullshit until they can just basically, you know, complete the grid, roll out their death towers and basically, you know, doom you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, no escape. It's, you know, it's certain death with these death towers all around you. And it's just a matter of time. And, you know, since it weakens the immune system, it, you know, looks like natural causes three out of four times. Really nothing, uh, you know, out of the ordinary on the autopsy reports. Kind of like, you know, being taken out like Epstein or, you know, Seth Rich or, you know, something like that. It's, oops, you know, it's a suicide, it's an accident. Uh, you know, nobody gets suspicious. And, of course, if anybody asks questions, all they got to do is say that the Russians did it and, you know, they're off the hook. Ladies and gentlemen, off the hook indeed. This beast system is out to get you. It's punishment in disguise. It's the pages of the Bible playing out before your very eyes. Uh, literally, you know, this is the beginning of the end for humanity as we know it. They're going to be rolling out, 
you know, their Matrix, their Skynet, Terminators, automation, they're going to completely replace the workforce. Uh, it's going to be the total devolution of society. You think it's bad now with all the junkies and the zombies and the morons out there. It's only going to get infinitely worse. And right now the situation is pretty bad. I mean, uh, you know, normal people are locked out. You basically got to be, you know, some kind of clone or some kind of witch to to make it out there. And if you haven't sold out, then you you're basically, you know, in exile. You're basically you know, at the bottom of the ladder for the most part. And, uh, and, you know, it's just a very unfair system. You know, you see who's in charge of, you know, the, the government, the, the corporations, the media and the like, it's all a bunch of sellouts, you know, worshiping the devil. It's a big club and you're not in it, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, you wouldn't want to be in it. And of course, that's what makes it so difficult to, infiltrate you know to get into these clans you basically have to get through people like you know epstein and the like they want you to rape children they want uh, to record you and have the blackmail of it and the like and uh, you know we've seen this evidence just pile up since the wikileaks they threw that guy in prison julian assange and you know basically have given all of the uh, cronies immunity agreements or they've taken out the uh, inconvenient witnesses and the like it's uh you know it's a fully corrupt system and it's only going to get worse and unless we clean house unless we you know basically uh flush out the septic tank the swamp out there in dc and and you know pretty much every branch of government uh this tyranny will continue ladies and gentlemen there'll be more death towers there'll be more fluoride there'll be more vaccines there'll be more pesticides Everything will become artificial, like the food, and those just start plugging people in, uh, you know, into the matrix. You'll have to have your brain chip to compete, you know, for the jobs of tomorrow. And you know, if you step out of line, then here come the robo cops and and uh, the slaughter bots and the like. It's it's going to be a nightmare. And if people could, you know, see the future, if they could, you know, travel in time, they'd know that this was, uh, you know, the last opportunity for a last stand against the system these people on television they're not your friend and you know while they're keeping you busy with you know impeachment and you know whatever whatever else they can dream up you know they're rolling out these death towers they're you know progressing with the skynet they're getting closer to deploying the robocops you know and they're testing the brain chips i mean every day that goes by is a day wasted and you know these death towers are going to be the core for their communications and uh you know if you stop the death towers you stop the skynet and the like and you know you don't have to be like these telecom workers and engineers that are taking down these death towers you can go to your city council you can protest you can petition uh you can tell them that you know you don't want them deployed there's a new uh, california supreme court ruling that says that cities have now uh the right to you know stop these death towers Due to health concerns everybody should really be making this the issue of 2020 and you know for some people it's already too late for some people they already got these things right next door and you know they're getting raped and you want to know how bad it is get a meter and just compare it to the scientific uh, you know reports that are out there don't take our word for it do your own research but get a meter you need an instrument it's like a thermometer if you don't know what you're being exposed to you know you don't know but once you do know, then you end up being like these telecom workers that just want to take these things out. And, uh, you know, they say they just light up like a, like a Christmas tree, you know, and you could probably just, you know, well, they're talking about super, super soakers and Roman candles, but you never know how these people operate. Until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to this, you are the resistance.